Hi and welcome to this tutorial. I'm just going to run through how to set up ScreamerNet uh, for Lightwave using Windows 7 and Lightwave 11. Okay, um, first thing we're going to do is set up a couple of shared folders. Okay, so then we can make them um, network drives. Okay, so if you just go to, I've just got a couple of hard drives here. I'm just going to put it on this hard drive here. Um, to create a new folder, you just go up to New Folder and type in what you want to call the folder. Okay, I've already created a, a um, couple of folders. So if you create two new folders, one LWSN content underscore content and LWSN underscore program, that just stands for Lightwave Screaming Net. You could call it whatever you like. Okay, I just like to call it um, these because they're, cause they're descriptive. Okay, so once you've created those two folders, okay, what we need to do is we need to share them. Okay, so if you go right click and go share with, and you can just go specific people if you want, and add everyone. As you notice, I've already done this, so if you went everyone, and then click to add, okay, then they will appear here, okay, and change it to make sure it's on read and write because you need to be able to read and write everyone needs to be able to read and write to these folders okay so uh, once you've done that added everyone have read and write just go share okay I've already done this for this particular folder okay you do the same with the content right click share with I usually go specific people you can different users but I'm gonna put everyone okay and then once you've selected everyone again, go add and change it to read and write. Okay, and click on share. Okay, I'll shut that down. Okay, so now we've got those two folders shared. Okay, so what we can do then, we can map them as network drives. Okay, so if I go E, you'll notice here I've already mapped them as network drives. Okay, what that one there and that one there. To do that, all you do when you go Windows E, that's the Windows E, or you start a new. Um, Internet Explorer window, you can just go up to Map Network Drive. I find that the easiest way to get there. Map Network Drive, once that comes up, click on, I've got it on X, the program, click on there. That'll, if you, It should be blank, it shouldn't be anything next to it, it should look like this, W, T, whatever. I'm just using X, and if you clicked on Browse, and Browse, I just pause that for a second then so that um, it took to, I'm, at, I'm at, a, at my work and the, in, and the network can take a while to find computers. So I just, this is the program one. So I'm just going to go with the X program. Once you've selected that folder, you go OK. OK. And, and just go re, reconnect it, log on, and go finish. It's asking me that it already is already connected. If you haven't done this, it won't come up with this option, but I'm just going to go yes anyway. Uh, oh, don't, don't worry, it's the same. I'll just cancel it, but it's the same. It's just saying it because I've got it open somewhere else, okay? Another computer. But anyway, if you do that, go go finish, okay? You'll have a map network drive. And same with um, content. Again, if we just go there, go map network drive. And I've done it on the M drive. So I selected the M. You could have whatever letter you liked, okay? So M drive, go browse and select LWS and content for that one. Okay. And once you've done that, you'll notice that they'll appear here. You'll have an LWS and content as a network location and a program. Okay. So we've set up the um, the network drives which we need to. So I'll just I'll just pause it here and uh, we'll stop the tutorial here and we'll move on. I'll just make a, another part for setting up the shortcuts and the config files and everything. 